All right, guys, first my advice on hedge mazes. Always use the restroom before you go into a hedge maze because you could get lost and then it gets really awkward. Turned it 50 in a couple days. I'm at the Jackrabbit Jubilee 12 hour overnight. It's about 111 right now here in Buckeye, Arizona, and which really is awful. Um, running 12 hours tonight, gonna try to run 50 miles, 50 for 50. Uh, my wife came out. Um, she's not running tonight. She's had that back surgery uh, not too long ago, but she's um, back out here and reuniting with some people right now that she hasn't seen in quite a while. Uh, my buddy Rich is here. Taylor, who I met last time, is here. A few other good friends will be here uh, as well. They sent me up a little canopy with some uh, 50th birthday swag. So it's a, it's a cool organization here. Oh, I'm really lost now, <laughs> but it's a cool organization. And uh, the goal tonight with the 50... Oh, I'm, oh, I made it to the middle. Oh, how, how cool. Gargoyle. I'll take a seat here. So it's going to be too hot for me to push in the beginning. And it's 12 hours. That's a long night. There's a lot of time uh, to work on getting some miles. But it's difficult to be patient early and then pick it up later on. I mean, it's, it's already like I just have been walking around a little bit just unpacking the car and it's already hot and sweaty. So in the beginning, it's patience and hydration. And then once the sun is fully down and it's 10, 11 at night and it gets under 96 degrees. Um, and then at by three in the morning, I think it's going to be under 90 degrees. And that's only with four hours left. So mistakes will be made, but fun will be had. And uh, we'll see what happens. Okay, the race is done. I did not do like routine updates from it. It was a 12 hour. Like that, you're not going to believe this, but that actually goes by really fast. Um, I did not accomplish 50 miles in 12 hours. However, once again, thanks to the metric system, I did achieve more than 50 kilometers in 12 hours. And for today, that's going to have to be good enough. It was a great time. Um, my, my friend Taylor, who I met at the last uh, event there, helped him out. Um, he, he did 50 miles, which was cool. And in the last couple hours, it was getting close for him. And he, he had it in the bag, but I, I saw him. I had actually taken a short nap and I saw him and we were running half laps. So about 250 meters and then walking for 250 meters and we alternated that all the way through. He did another lap or two um, after he had the 50 miles. So he probably had somewhere around 51 miles. And it was a delight to hang out and run with someone who's very new to the sport. And that definitely, uh, that definitely is one of many reasons why I keep doing these even though I don't do them like I used to, it's still always a great time. And I, I don't know what I learned from that, but I think there's something to be learned. I think there's something to be learned from that. So anyway, in the car, my wonderful wife's driving me home uh, right now because I've been up for a long time. And uh, thanks for checking it out, tuning in, and there will be more. So I'm seriously lost in the hedge maze right now, trying to get out back to my stuff. <laughs> wait, wait. Oh no. Oh, it's, 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 it's right over there. Oh, I think I have to go all the way up here. This is, this is just, it's more, it's, I think the idea of it is more fun. And then I get like anxiety. <laughs> My gosh. It's on Google. You can see it on Google maps. That might be <laughs> what I need to do. Oh, I think I'm gonna end up back in the middle. Oh no, I'm back in the middle. Darn it. <laughs>